You've connected your platforms to Databox. You've then selected the metrics that matter to you, and then you visualize them on a dashboard. Well, now you can share your insights with your team, your clients, or your managers. So in the data board designer, we'll just navigate to send. And by clicking on that, it'll give us a pop-up with all the different sharing options that we have. So I won't be running through the shareable link because we did talk about that in the building custom dashboards video. So if you haven't had a chance to check that out, I would encourage you to just go back and rewatch the video. Or you can also make use of our knowledge base to learn more about how to use this option. Okay. So to briefly run you through send to email, this option will allow you to send a once-off email directly from Databox with an export of your dashboard. You can choose to include a personalized subject line and a personalized note. You can also choose to include a shareable link of your dashboard, which means that once your recipients receive the email, they'll be able to access the dashboard as well through the public link. And this will be a bit more interactive because they'll be able to hover over specific date ranges, values, uh, and also update the date range for specific data blocks or the whole entire dashboard. The next option that we have is send to, to Slack. Uh, by connecting your Slack account to Databox, you'll actually be able to send dashboards directly to your Slack channels. So for example, if you're a sales manager and you're giving weekly updates on your performance to your team, you would be able to do that through Databox. For embed, you can copy this uh, HTML code to actually embed a live version of your dashboard either on your website or your CRM systems. And by using stream to TV, you're actually going to be able to present your dashboard on your company TV. So for example, again, if you're a sales manager and you'd like to display a dashboard so your team can see how you're trending month to date, you'd be able to do, use this option to do that. Okay, and the last option I wanna talk to you about is a scheduled snapshot. So a scheduled snapshot will allow you to schedule a reoccurring PDF or a JPEG export of your dashboard on a reoccurring basis. So this is really good if you are running monthly meetings to update your whole entire company on your performance or you're running weekly updates or, for example, at the end of the week, you want to receive a dashboard to see how you are trending. Uh, scheduled snapshots will allow you to do that. So under send to email, if we just select here, create a scheduled snapshot, we'd actually be able to select how often we'd like to receive the snapshot. So under frequency, we would either select between daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, then we can select a specific day and even a specific time. Again, similar to send to email, we would specify email recipients. I do want to note that email recipients do not need to be users in Databox. You can actually add recipients who have not been included as users on the account. Um, and then you'll also be able to add a custom subject line, and a personalized note. Again, you could also choose to include a shareable link. You could also then, if you have connected your Slack account to Databox, choose the option to deliver this dashboard on Slack. So once again, if we're going back to the sales manager example and you're giving weekly updates on your performance, uh, by setting this up, it will automatically send those dashboards to the Slack channel so your whole entire team can see how you're doing.